Hi there, you're watching Gardens and Graveyards. My name is Charisma and today we are in the studio and we're going to do a little DIY Halloween project. It is the 1st of October, you'll see this tomorrow on the 2nd, and I am ready for Halloween. It's my favorite season and I thought it would be fun to share a couple of simple and easy DIYs that I'm going to be doing for our Halloween decorating this year. So every year I like to choose a theme for my Halloween decorating because there's so many themes to choose from and I love them all and I really like to super get into it, right? So this year it's monsters and we are going to, today we are going to make monster wreaths and they're actually going to be baby monsters because I can only find little tiny wreath rings which is fine um I, I really just wanted to play with the whole monster ray thing so that's what we're gonna do today and yeah ho hopefully it's something you like and enjoy we're gonna do a few more um throughout the month of october leading up to halloween and hopefully if you if you do any of these diys please share with me because i'd love to see your version and um, see how things go for you. So let's get started. All right, so let me put these on the floor. The plants that live on my table here keep getting put on the floor. <laughs> and then we have a wreath making product. So I've got some eyeballs and I have a tutu that we're going to deconstruct. Um, okay, scissors, blue feather boas from the Dollar Tree for Cookie Monster, and wreath rings, and some felt. And I just realized I need my hot glue gun. So I'm going to grab that and be back. All right. So I've got my hot glue gun. I have blue sparkly glue sticks and silver. And then I also grab my tacky glue just in case I decide that's a better solution. And then I have some pipe cleaners that I almost forgot I needed. So I think I'm ready now. The first one we're going to do is the Cookie Monster one. These wreath rings, if you can see them better like this, see, um, came from the Dollar Tree, two for a dollar. I'm going to need one for now. And the first thing I'm going to do is just wrap this feather boa in the wreath ring start has a little uh like rope thingy that I'm actually going to utilize as a hanger so I'm gonna leave that I'm gonna leave it up like this and then I'm just gonna start wrapping this feather boa and I'm expecting it to be a little bit messy because feather boas are messy. I'm going to just wrap them all the way around. I don't need to weave it a whole lot. I do think maybe like every third one I'm going to wrap inside of, like go inside of here. Just to help stabilize it a little bit. So it doesn't slip down. too much. Hopefully there's enough feather. <laughs> we want to have as much feather fluff as we can. So we don't want to wrap down on top of the fluff too much. Yeah, let's see. Come up around like this. Then I think I'll just 
that filled about half of one of those, so that's pr pretty perfect. I'll just connect these two uh, rope thingies. Hoping none of that's going in my tea. Okay, so just um, see. Trying. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just wrap it up in there and hide it. I got that nice and tight in there. It's hidden. And then I wrap the feather over it. Okay, get it all tangled here. Thanks. All right, here we go. So then I'm just gonna kind of move it around and fluff it till it's all covered. Find the rope thing again. Is this the one? Oh look, they're pretty much right next to each other. Convenient. Okay. Uh, how cute. Okay. So, yeah. now what I want to do is <laughs> grab a couple of eyeballs. And make sure I know where the top is. Again, these things keep getting lost. Okay, I'm gonna kind of put these guys strategic. Should I remember how the cookie monster eyeballs are kind of close together? I think. All right, so I think what I wanna do is have them not perfectly straight. I want them to be a little bit wonky. So I'm gonna put my glue off to the side a little bit. There's still gold glitter in there. That's okay. All right, here we go. And this one can be a little bit more straight. Okay. Then well, that's drying for a minute. Let's see what color of felt I have. I know I want white for this one. Are you seeing all the feathers? Okay. Well, 
don't really have brown. Let's see if I can make this work. Where'd my scissors go? Oh. So I think what I want to do is make a little cookie. I'm just going to take this and draw a circle. Get a pen in here. Just going to make a little circle here. Okay. Then I'm going to make, cut this circle. So see, I just drew Sharpie around the bottom of my coffee cup and make a circle. This. One thing that I really love about Halloween is that nothing's supposed to look realistic. So if I don't have exactly what I want, like I don't have dark brown chocolate chips for my cookie. Although I could just cut up some of it. Let's see what this has. It's going to make little tiny chocolate chips with this kind of orangey color. But... a couple of options here. Might be able to cut little pieces of this brown felt um, fuzzy stick pipe cleaners. I'm also thinking if there's still gold glue in here, maybe I could just make little gold dots. Well, let's play. It's not the worst. That stands out a little better. Just utilize that glue that's there. Looks like caterpillars. <laughs> Not terrible. All right, so I think I want to make him have like it was cut out, or like he got like it got a big bite of it. So. Great. All right. So then 
going to add this little cookie on here, sort of as an embellishment. Glue is hot. Okay. I am happy with how that turned out. Cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's try Oscar the Grouch. So I'm going to actually take this tutu apart. Um, cause I really just want the tool and I picked this up at the Goodwill for 99 cents, which was a lot cheaper than buying the tool. If my scissors would cut through. Okay. wonder what scissors I grabbed. Okay, new scissors. Sharp scissors is a better idea than dull scissors. Throw those away. Or if they're high quality, get them sharpened, but not high quality. So I'm just gonna cut this tool off of the waistband. I don't need that anymore. Okay, then I've got all these pieces. Let's put this guy over here for a second. Right. I've got this piece I can cut the seam out of. You can find rolls of tool that is pretty much this width. So, and they're usually fairly inexpensive. I can usually find them at any craft store and usually at Walmart, Fred Meyers. I just happened to be at the Goodwill and they had it, had the color that I wanted and everything for 99 cents. I was Perfect. I didn't have to go to another store. There's, there's two, looks like two different colors, green, two different color greens in there, which is fine. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is let's see, I've got another ring, wreath ring. And there's a couple ways I could go about this. I could do the same as I did before with just wrapping it and wrapping it, but I kind of want it fluffy. And we're not gonna get that level of fluffiness, I don't think. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just cut this and play with the size a little bit. This is about eight inches. Come in here and just tie it. Let's see. Let's see how I like it. Wonder if this wreath ring is um, concave on the back, so it does have a back. This would be the flat side, and then the part that bumps out would would go out. Make any sense. 
the part that's flat you want to keep flat so that it hangs against a wall um, easy. So I'm going to keep my knots either at the top or the bottom or in the middle of the, the side that's bumped out so it'll lay flat. All right, so I'm just going to play with another chunk here and see what the best way to do this is going to be. I think this is going to work. Ugh. Okay. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go every other one is going to go so the knot goes up and then the knot goes sideways. And we're just going to keep doing that. Um, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and I think I could make this just a little bit shorter so it sticks up better. So future ones, we'll just cut them a little shorter. Okay. See if this is the right length. It needs to be long enough that I can actually tie it. So let's see this way.
cute. Okay, just wanna get them sort of evenly distributed. This is gonna be the top, I think. Kind of a little bit wild. Let's see. We'll see how this works. I don't know. I was thinking I'd make monster teeth. I basically just made squiggly monster teeth. Then we'll see what happens when I glue them onto the back. Might not show, I don't know. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna put little eyeballs on this guy too. Trying to know where the tab is. This is the tab. Okay, so a little bit right there. 
thinking of making Anna a funny eyebrow. I don't like that, bro. I'm happy with this guy, just like that. We'll just use some of this uh, piping to make a hanger. I'm just slipping it in between there. And then we'll twist it. Stay and if you remember these boa feather boas had these little hangers on them already, so there we go. What do you think? Super cute, really simple, easy, Halloween, DIY, and um you could do this with kids too. It'd be super easy to do with kids and really fun. And they could be creative, like embellishing and doing fun things like that. So anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with me while I prepared for Halloween this year. And until the next time, keep celebrating life. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.